Great news, guys. At last, my true talent has been recognized. Guess what I've been asked to do for the newspapers? Deliver them? <laughs> Joke all you want, Mary. You can't bug me. I've been asked to write an article for $200. An article about what? And why you, if you don't mind my asking? Oh, I don't mind. If you don't ask, how are you going to learn? <laughs> my topic is freedom of the press. And they chose me as the best known newsman in the city. And a newspaper is paying you to write it? 200 clams, Mary. To assume my rightful place among the giants of journalism. <laughs> Ted, you can't even name the giants of journalism, much less take your place among them. Well, that's where you're wrong, big fella. Name two. Well, there's Woodward Bernstein, for one. <laughs> Van Landers, who was very insightful this morning, incidentally, answering mixed up in Michigan. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was the woman whose husband went to bed with his hat on. <laughs> I just happened to read it. Oh. Well, uh, what makes you think that you can write an article, Ted? Oh, all I'll do is sit your jet down and dictate 1,500 words to her, just like that. Just a question of stringing words together. <laughs> Hell, piece of cake, oh. <laughs> I, for one, don't think you can write 1,500 words on freedom of the press. Oh, come on, Lou, you gotta be kidding. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> freedom of the press is good. <laughs> Very good. Important. Well, that's ten words already. It's only nine, Ted. So I'm not a mathematician. Words are my game. <laughs> Very important for America. How many words does that mean? Fifteen. Fifteen. Let's see, they're paying me $200 for 1,500 words. It's the same as $2 for 15. Yeah, not bad. I've already earned $2. For just three nights' work. Now, uh, isn't going so fast, is it? No, but don't worry. I know it's going to be wonderful once you get rolling, Ted. Me too. I tell you what, Georgette, read me into it. Let's get a run at it. Get the old creative juices flowing from the top with feeling. Freedom of the press is very, very good and very, 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 very important for America. I certainly signed my name to that. Your name will make it 17 words. That's darn just when I'm really cooking. Oh, hiya, Ted. Oh, hi, Joe Jack. Hi, Murray. Hi, Murray. What, what brings you here? What brings me here, Ted? Uh, you have... Honey, isn't that the baby crying? Oh, gee, I didn't even hear her. No, small wonder with you typing away like a storm in here. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea, Ted? You called me, you asked me to come over. I didn't want Georgette to know. You didn't want Georgette to know what? That I can't write. Well, she knows you can't read, Ted. It's not a big job. <laughs> No joke, Murray. She has faith in me. She was so proud when they asked me to write this article. Now I, I tried and I can't. Freedom of the press is as nice as a day at the seashore. <laughs> you sure can't. Well, oh, I was just off the top of my head. Oh. Uh, Ted, the baby sound asleep. Oh, I didn't say baby. I. I meant Davy. David is 12 years old. Why would he be crying? Oh, did I say crying? I, I meant snoring. David is snoring? Yeah, uh, could be his adenoid. So you'd better check, okay, honey? Okay. Murray, hmm. I want you to write that article for me. <laughs> and I'll tell Georgette that I'm, I'm writing it at the office and I'll give you all the money. You will? The whole hundred. <laughs> 200, Ted. <laughs> okay, 200. But it's a secret. You can't tell anyone, not even Marie. Not even my wife? 
Murray, once one white knows, they all know. It goes out on jungle telegraph. <laughs> but you can't tell anyone, Murray. You can't tell a soul. Okay, Ted, it's a deal. As it happens, I need the money. But look, pay me now before I write a word. Right now? Right here and now. Ted David isn't snoring and he had his adenoids out. I'll be darned. David had his adenoids out. Hey, are you sure? Yes, Ted. <laughs> you win, Murray. <laughs> Believe this article by Ted. Well, what's wrong with it? Well, it's too good. I don't believe he wrote it. Murray, did you write it? No. Now, come on, really. Really, Mary? I, I, I didn't write it. But, Murray, there are words in here Ted couldn't possibly know about. <laughs> Anachronistic. Metaphor. Allegorical. Where would Ted ever pick up words like that? I don't know. Has William F. Buckley ever appeared on the gong show? Hi, everybody. Hi. Oh, hi. hi. Honey, are we too early? Uh, oh, hey, gee, I can't go to lunch for another hour. Uh, that's okay. We'll go shopping in the meantime. Yeah. <laughs> we're going to get Laura your new coat. Hey, good. <laughs> uh, we were going to try to make do another year, but all of a sudden, Murray decided we can afford it now. Yeah, I'm probably going to say goodbye to this ratty-looking thing. <laughs> oh, I see you're reading Ted's article. Yeah. I just finished it. It's really wonderful. You like it? Yeah. Oh, I just saw the governor's press conference on television, and he quoted from the article. The governor quoted from the article? Oh, isn't that exciting? Murray, what's so exciting about the governor quoting from Ted's article? Well, everyone isn't selfish, Murray. I mean, uh, some of us are happy for our co-workers. It is possible. No, it's not. <laughs> You're the one being happy, and Ted is the co-worker. Well, uh, you can say what you will about Ted. Uh, he's an idiot, uh, uh, an imbecile, but that man sure knows how to write. <laughs> we better be going. See yeah. you later, honey. Bye, 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 bye. Bye. Hi, Lou. Hi, Marie. Hi, Laurie. Nice coat. <laughs> <laughs> hey, have you seen this piece by Ted? Yeah, isn't it terrific? You know, at first I thought Murray had written it for him. No, nah, this is too good, even for Murray. <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hi, Georgia. What about my teddy bear? I'm so proud of this, I could bust my buttons. <laughs> well, actually, this dress doesn't have any buttons. It has two snaps and a zipper up the back. But I'm so proud I could bust two snaps and a zipper up the back. Sounds stupid, so I said buttons. <laughs> Sue me. <laughs> understand how you feel, and I'm really glad that you're so happy. Ted! I am so thrilled with the reaction to your article. Oh, you are getting a quality that I find more exciting than anything else. Brain power. <laughs> oh, any man who can throw words around like that. <laughs> Hyperbole? <laughs> Vitiate? <laughs> Assiduity? <laughs> anachronistic. <laughs> By the way, Ted, would you define anachronistic for us? <laughs> sure, Mary. It's, um, a man who's proud he's from Akron. <laughs> you know what simply amazes me is, I mean, a person can work next to somebody for so long and never see them as a sexual entity, and then all of a sudden, here he is. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, I mean, I've always known you were an attractive man, of course, but now I Excuse think you me, and I will get to know each other much, much better. <laughs> Sue Ann, I think it's very nice that you like Ted's article, and I'm glad you're so fond of the big words he uses, but if you don't knock it off, I'm going to vitiate your assiduity out of him. <laughs> Wouldn't have worked anyway. <laughs> Is there anything special you want for dinner, Ted? <laughs> I don't know. What do writers eat? I think I can find some alphabet soup. <laughs> hey, isn't it crazy the way Sue Ann acted just now? 
Oh, I had no idea that writers affected women this way. That Shakespeare must have had to drive him off with a stick. <laughs> Say, Murray, mm. I appreciate your not, you know, saying anything. The deal is a deal, Ted. Yeah, well, I know, I realize that, and I, re I respect you for it, but <clears throat> must have been a little tough on Ted, you. Ted, it's over, it's done, tomorrow it will be forgotten, so why don't we forget it? Huh? All right, you're a pal. Mary, I didn't tell you the best part. What's that, Ted? Reader's Digest telephone. They want to reprint my article for 2,500 bucks. I'm going to be famous. Speaking. Do you know what Ted just told me? That he really didn't write that article? No, he wouldn't admit that. Although, obviously, he didn't. Obviously. Mr. Grant, are you making fun of me, or do you agree? Sometimes, if I'm lucky, I can do both, Mary. <laughs> but I definitely agree. Freedom shouldn't be confused with license. Though these two cousins often pass as twins. I can recognize Murray's style a mile away. I just hope Ted paid him well for it. Not as well as Reader's Digest is going to pay Ted to reprint it. What? $2,500. Murray, get in here. <laughs> what is it? We both know what's going on here. We think it stinks. What? Grant, what? what, Murray, what Mr. Grant means is... We both know what's going on here, and we think it's stupid. Oh, well, uh, I don't know what you're talking about. The article that Ted supposedly wrote. Well, I still don't know what you're talking Murray, about. Sorry, come on. Sorry. Is uh, that all? No. Sit down. <clears throat> We're gonna crack you open like an egg. <laughs> Obviously, you've made some sort of promise. Here. No, I still don't know what you're talking about. Don't tell me you don't know what we're talking about. <laughs> okay, I don't know what you're referring to. Murray, <laughs> we're trying to help you. You honestly expect us to believe that Ted wrote that article? Yes. He can't even look at it. <laughs> I can so. <laughs> okay, Murray. I believe you. You didn't write it. Oh, no, Mr. Grant, I don't think he's telling me. Mary. Oh, oh. <laughs> We're just going to do that solution. Yes, yes. <laughs> you don't miss a trick. <laughs> okay, Murray. You didn't write it, but somebody did. We know that Ted didn't write it. Now, let's say somebody else wrote it for Ted. Some poor slob that we'll call, uh... Roland Sattler. <laughs> My dentist. <laughs> the name. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mary's dentist wrote the article. And everyone in Minneapolis thought it was a great article. But everyone praised Ted Baxter. Ah. And who didn't get even one little bit of recognition? Roland Sattler. <laughs> Not only that, but Roland doesn't make a whole lot of money. And here's Ted, who does. He's got a total of $2,700. And how much did he pay Roland in the first place? Uh, maybe five, six hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> maybe less. <laughs> and the real, the real sad part of it is that this article is maybe the best thing he's ever written. Maybe the best thing he'll ever write. Ever. <laughs> And he'll never be able to tell his friends, his wife, his children, or any of the other dentists. <laughs> oh, 
because of a stupid promise he made to Ted. Oh, that poor, dumb, wretched soul. <laughs> now, Murray, given this situation, don't you think the original agreement was unfair and shouldn't be considered binding? Not if he gave his word. Hey, don't you think a man's word ought to be worth something? If nothing else, that should be worth something. Mary? Mm. There goes one hell of a dentist. <laughs> Hey, guys, my door is always open. Lou, would you mind closing the door? <laughs> Sit down. What do you guys want to talk about? Ted, we think Oh, it's... oh, oh, oh. <laughs> this, this is sensational. <laughs> Dear Mr. Baxter, we'd like 400 copies of your excellent article to distribute to our students. Isn't that something? A newspaper with my writing in it being used to train students, can you imagine? Ted, that's what we'd like to talk to you about. The article you're alleged to have written. What do you mean, alleged? Did Murray squeal? About what? <laughs> about my paying him $200 to write the article and him promising not to tell anyone? No, Murray never said a word. Oh, good, because that didn't happen. <laughs> 200 is that all you paid him? Well, it's all they paid me. Yeah, but the Digest is now paying you 2500 Do you think that's fair? No, but it's as high as they'll go. <laughs> Ted, you just admitted that Murray wrote the article. Don't you think he's entitled to share? No, I don't, Lou. On principle. Ah. What principle? <sighs> okay, Murray. Let's say I paid a tailor to make these pants. So if he stopped me on the street, tried to take them back, I'd have him arrested. Am I right? Right. Yeah, but you're making a huge profit on this article. Okay, Lou. Let's say I pay a guy to build a house. And I later sell that house for three times the amount. Who gets that money? <laughs> uh, suppose people say, my, what a lovely house. Who accepts the compliment? You do. <laughs> Let's face it, guys, you haven't got a leg to stand on. I'm right. What? Hey, isn't this great? You guys always win an argument, but not this time. This time, I'm in the right. You're wrong, and I'm right. Oh, I tell you, this is a great country. <laughs> you know what makes it great? Because you don't have to be witty or clever as long as you can hire someone who is. <laughs> Where's your compassion? You're talking about somebody with whom you've worked for years, who came through for you when you had trouble. You're talking about a man who's never had a chance to be in the limelight. You have. I mean, here's a guy who did one thing, one single thing in his whole life that can get him a little national attention. Something that, when he goes to sleep, he can say, maybe I'm special. Ted, Murray deserves the chance to say that to himself once. Don't you think? Ted, we're talking about a man who sold his name to buy a coat for his daughter. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're too good a man to take advantage of Murray this way. No, I'm not. <laughs> all right, all right. I am. Come on. You really like it? No, oh, it's beautiful, honey. Hey, do me a favor. Try to make it last till you're married. <laughs> ah, good. You're still here. So, um, just, okay, stay. Good, because we'll, um, just... Uh, I wonder what's going on. Hi, Marie. Hi. Oh, I didn't tell you yet. 
I just loved your article. Oh, well, thank you. It's always nice to hear that. <laughs> Marie, there's something I have to tell you about that article. Yes, Dad? Murray may write something like that himself someday. Uh, I certainly hope so. We sure would be proud of him if he did. Bye-bye. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. Marie. Marie. Uh, Marie. <laughs> what? Murray helped me write that article. Honey, why didn't you say it? Hey, hey. He helped me a lot. Maybe 30%. <laughs> More than 30%. Did you really, Dad? Make me proud of you, Ted. <laughs> Murray wrote the whole article. Every word was his idea. I'm such a dope, I couldn't write my own name without Murray. Hey, I was afraid to say that. Murray wrote the article. <laughs> Murray wrote the article. <laughs> and now that I said it, I'm going to be sick. <laughs> Kids, what is it you wanted to tell me? Sit down, Georgette. Well, this may come as kind of a shock to you, so you better hang on. I never wrote that article for the paper. Oh, I knew that. <laughs> you did? Sure. Just because I love you doesn't mean I'm stupid. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, oh that's okay, Murray. Mary. Congratulations on the article. Oh, well, uh, I, I actually didn't. I mean, Ted did. I mean, me, I, 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 I did. Murray, uh, you know you write a lot better than you talk. <laughs> Bye, honey. Bye. Uh, Ted, I, uh, I've been thinking all day about that gesture you uh, made upstairs. That's okay, Murray. No, Ted, I have to say this. For a long time now, uh, I've made you the butt of my jokes because you were there and you happened to be a preposterous figure. <laughs> but what you did today was classy. You're a fine man, Ted Baxter. It's an honor to know you. <laughs> oh, Murray. <laughs> hey, you know what? Huh? That twenty-five hundred dollars from Rita's Digest. Yeah. I want you to have it. Oh no, you can keep it, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs>